three years ago, I got myself two ragdoll kittens, Chimo and Aria. After three years together, I wanted to do a review of my two ragdoll cats. The good, the bad, and my favorite moments with them. Hopefully, this video would be helpful for anyone thinking of getting a ragdoll cat. Let's start with the good. I originally fell in love with the ragdoll breed many years before I got Timo and Aria. I loved how affectionate the breed was and that they loved being held. This is what the ragdoll breed is known for and Timo and Aria did not disappoint. I love how Timo and Aria keep watch when I am in the bathroom, help out when I do laundry, or wait for me when I come home from work. But Timo and Aria's affection are slightly different. Aria has a very intense, affectionate personality. Imagine a relationship where the honeymoon period never ends. Aria always wants to sleep on me, make biscuits, or always watch over me. She does get jealous. When I spend time with Timo without her, Aria would immediately hunt us down and voice her displeasure. It's not like she doesn't want me to hang out with Timo. She just wants to be part of the fun. Aria loves to also help with my outfit by adding her own personal touch. She does that by scratching up every pair of pants I have. Maybe she's marking me. Cats are known to scratch to establish territory. Maybe Aria's letting the other kitties know I belong to Aria and they better watch out. Now Timo has a more chill, affectionate personality. He gives me personal space when I need it, but loves to talk to me throughout the day. <coughs> Timo, are you looking for a chin scratch? That's a good boy. He also likes to be cradled in my arms. He can be in this position forever. Like all boys, Timo likes to play games with me. It's how I get to bond with Timo more closely. Over the three years, I have bought a lot of toys for my cats to keep it fresh as cats do get bored of the same toys. Sometimes I try to get creative. During Christmas, I usually bring out the Lego train and fill it up with cat treats for Timo to hunt and chase. It is probably Timo's favorite month of the year. Is that right, Timo? I have even created a maze and castle for them. They had a lot of fun playing in it. Another good thing about having two ragdoll cats is that my happiness level is always above 90%. If I am having a bad day, giving Timo or Aria a hug gives me a boost of happiness. When I come home from work, Timo and Aria are always by the window waiting for me. It's a nice feeling to come home to. Timo and Aria also make me laugh every day. Whether it is this weird jump Aria does, or the way Timo and Aria run, I find the bounce in their steps funny. Or when Aria picks a fight with Timo, a fight Aria always loses. All of their shenanigans just make me chuckle and contribute to my overall happiness. Ragdoll cats are known for their companionship and form strong bonds with their owners. For someone that lives alone, Timo and Aria's presence is comforting. 
It is like two angels watching over you. They provide emotional support when I am not having a good day. I don't have it on camera, but one time I was having a rough day and out of nowhere, Timo just hugged my leg and started purring. I think he could sense I was not feeling so well and wanted to cheer me up. For Aria, she is always on me, whether it be on my lap or on my chest when I am taking a nap. She is always there to let me know I am never alone. Over the three years, Timo and Aria's love and companionship has never wavered. After three years, I still believe that getting two ragdoll cats was the best decision. Ragdoll cats are a very social breed and do well with a companion. I have seen the relationship between Timo and Arya blossom over the years. Timo and Arya were from the same litter, and I don't believe they were close litter mates. But after many years together, they are inseparable. They are always sleeping in the same cat bed, or always grooming each other. Besides giving your ragdoll cat a loving companion, the other benefit is that they keep each other company when you are busy or away from home. This is an amazing benefit when they are kittens. They have so much energy at that stage and it's nice to have them tire each other out. And lastly, you'll get twice the love, which is a huge plus. One of the bad things about Timo and Aria is that they love door dashing. Whenever I open the door, Timo or Aria would try to sprint outside. I am still traumatized about almost losing Aria, so I have to be very careful when I open the doors. Both Timo and Aria are adventurers and love to explore the outdoors. This love of the outdoors, I think, comes from all the windows in our home and the occasional walks we go on. The outside just looks like so much fun compared to being cooped up inside. One day, when I get a house, I hope to double gate the front door to prevent door dashes and have a backyard for them to explore in. Maybe even add a pond with a stream for the cats to play in. One day, Timo and Aria. Another bad thing about Timo and Aria is definitely the shedding. It can get on your clothes and all over the furniture. The shedding gets really bad during spring and fall. Even with all the hair brushing and high quality food, I still see quite a bit of hair floating around. So vacuuming the apartment daily is a must. The vet did say that Timo and Aria, relative to other cats, didn't shed too much. After looking at all the good and the bad, I give Timo and Aria a 10 out of 10. They have changed my life for the better. And if you're thinking of getting a ragdoll cat yourself, you should. If you thought this video was helpful, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. We make videos on helping you become the best cat owner. So please join us. Comment down below. What is your review of your cat?